Hi, it's Hani from Hanielas and welcome to brand new cookie decorating tutorial. I'm super excited to share this new tutorial with you. We're going to make peacock feather cookies. So without the further ado, let's dive right into today's tutorial. Before you can decorate, you need to make the cookies. Today I'm using 3 inch round cookies and I also prepared my royal icing. You can also find step by step instructions on how to make these cookies on my blog hanielas.com. Before I begin, I wanted to share with you how I cut my tipless piping bags. First I find a seam, I press it down the middle and then I cut a small opening straight across. It's better to cut small opening and then you can make it bigger. Once you make it too big, there's no way going back. You have to switch the piping bag. This is my template that I will be using to make royal icing transfers. So to make the, f um, I believe they are called peacock feather eyes, we're going to make royal icing transfers. Those are really um, great to have. And then you can just pop them on your cookies and you can make these ahead of time. To make these, I'm using 20 second consistency royal icing. I'm starting in the middle with purple, then coming in with uh, royal blue. And then I will use um, like a golden yellow, pink, and also teal. But you can make these um, any colors you want. So if you have a specific color theme, maybe you're making this for a wedding or bridal shower or birthday, or just because you can make them any color you want. So now I'm coming in with that yellow. And to make golden yellow, I like to use um, lemon yellow food coloring. So I color my icing with uh, this uh, food coloring and then I add uh, just a touch of um, orange to it. But when I say touch of orange, I mean like a tip of a toothpick or even less, just to kind of mute it down a little bit. And now I'm going to use, uh, this is electric pink. And again, all of these colors, all of the icing that I'm using to make the eye, they are 20 second consistency. You don't want to use icing that is too runny because it will be spreading too fast. Now use your scribe tool and just very carefully blend pink into the yellow and yellow into the pink. And then the final layer it's the teal layer around. And royal icing transfers, as you know, if you've been following me for a while, I use these a lot. They can be made ahead of time, store them away from direct sunlight and moisture. Sunlight will fade the color and moisture will start eating the sugar because I'm using royal icing and royal icing is mostly made out of powdered sugar. Now to add some shine, I'm adding some uh, luster dust using my spray pump. And then we just have to let these dry overnight, place them on flat uh, tray. Ideally you're piping these on a flat surface and then just leave them dry overnight. Once they are dry, you should be able to remove them with ease. Aren't they pretty? I love how these turned out. Now I'm preparing gold luster paint, adding dry gold luster dust into my palette, adding some Everclear, making the paint. I want to make this ahead of time, so I have, I have it on hand as I'm um, icing my cookies. I will be making splatter on royal icing and I'm going to make it right after I um, ice the cookies. So I'm using 15 second consistency royal icing. Notice that I'm not piping my outline all the way on the edge there. I'm leaving a slight gap between the icing and the edge of the cookie. I will pipe beaded border there. So make sure that you leave a little gap there so you have enough room for that border. And now just with your scribe tool, smooth the icing. And 
we're going to splatter this with that gold luster dust paint. So dip your paintbrush and then run a scribe, uh, scribe tool through the bristles and watch what happens. Just make sure that you protect your work surface. And now I'm going to drop the feather eye onto the wet icing. Let that dry or at least crust and then you can continue with piping the stems and also um, barbs. I think these lines are called barbs. So at the top they will be kind of like close-knit barbs and as we go down they will be a bit more looser. You can also overlap these to make it look more natural and realistic. And for this I'm using piping consistency royal icing. You can see icing is not spreading, it's holding its shape. If your icing is too runny it's going to spread and the lines will just blend together and you really don't want that. So you see here I'm coming and overlapping some of these lines. And now we just have to add a few more lines here at the bottom. And then you need to repeat this on the other side. So you can see the first line is actually outlining the feather eye and then the second line is going next to it. If you are struggling, sometimes I uh, get uh, emails or questions about uh, tipless piping bags. If you're struggling with uh, getting a nice rounded opening, you can also option for a piping tip. For this I would use piping tip number one, round piping tip number one. All right, we are almost, almost there. Hang in there. A few more lines and then we're going to move on and there. Now I'm going to be using number uh, two round piping, uh, round piping tip number two and I colored my royal icing with ivory food coloring. I'm going to paint it with gold so it's good idea. It's a good idea to have a tinted icing that is similar to the color or the, the paint that you're going to be using especially with uh, metallic. It's going to provide better coverage. And for this, I would suggest that you use thicker icing. Don't use icing that is too, too stiff. So it's too hard to pipe. So I would say like maybe a uh, thicker piping consistency or something around there. Let the icing dry. And now we're going to paint barbs and also that beaded border. So I've got blue luster dust and I have, uh, this is gold luster dust. And to both of these, I'm going to add some Everclear. Everclear, Everclear it's a uh, high proof grain alcohol. It's clear and tasteless. And it evaporates very, very quickly, which is ideal for this um, paint because we want the icing, we want the paint to evaporate very quickly. We don't want it to be sitting on the icing because if it sits on the icing, it will start pitting and uh, dissolving the sugar. So you need to use a fine, fine, um, paintbrush 
for this. If you use a, a paintbrush that is too thick, too big, it's going to give you issues. You won't be able to paint individual lines. All right, now let's switch to the gold. Now I'm gonna paint the border with gold. I'm using, for this I'm using, this is Aztec gold. It's very luminous and um, very shiny. And now let's move on and uh, let's uh, paint some of these lines. You don't have to do heavy, heavy coat, just the light coat is enough and there. And that is how you can make these um, peacock feather cookies. Again, template is available in my template shop and also step-by-step -step picture tutorial. I know some of you are more of uh, picture learners. You can find this tutorial on my blog. Link is in the description box under this tutorial. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe to Hanielas on YouTube. You can also find me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. And also don't forget to sign up to my newsletter so you don't miss any new tutorials and updates. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!